hello and very welcome back to our channel and uh, you can see now on your screen we've got this printed circuit board module as a PCB module that was inside a ceiling LED the one that we put uh, on uh, our ceiling the lights LED lights and inside that there is an electronics so that electronics is what you see here so I can see that there are variety of uh, electronic components right over here uh, very clearly I can see that there is this capacitor first and it is a polarized capacitor specifically it is an electrolytic capacitor so this sign the negative sign indicates out of two pin this pin is a negative one and the other one is a positive pin look at the rating available on this capacitor that is it can withstand 100 volts across it and the value of the capacitance is 47 microfarad so it's uh, with a basic uh, physics formula charge can be calculated which is uh, the ratio of c over v where c is given that is 47 microfarad and v is given that is 100 volts so this is an electrolytic capacitor one of the type of capacitor look at these two capacitors right over here thus this two the clearly the negative sign is also seen and therefore they are also electrolytic capacitors so uh, clearly this this these two pins out of these two pins the top one is a negative pin out of these two pins of the capacitor the top one is a negative pin and the bottom one are the positive pins of each of these capacitors and again they are electrolytic capacitors what about their ratings so uh, currently i'm not able to see the ratings which is little bit uh, visible here but uh, maybe i need to inspect detail but it would be similar to what is mentioned on the body of this capacitor same you can just uh, see around then what is more available here we have got another capacitor so this is most likely a tantalum capacitor so let us see if there is something printed on its body that we can uh, see which is uh, currently we cannot see anything uh, on its body maybe it's on the other side of this uh, of this capacitor what about this red one this red one capacitor is also a kind of capacitor that is a polystyrene capacitor and on its body you will also see there is some rating usually the voltage rating and the capacitance voltage uh, capacitance is mentioned okay so you got to here is another capacitor which is uh, provided with a cap there is this uh, shielding over here you can just take the rubber out to see inspect that and uh, now uh, there is one register obviously you can just uh, disconnect one of the lead from it and connect the two leads of the multimeter to measure the value of the resistors since it is connected and solder firmly on the PCB you cannot directly connect the multimeter leads to its two pins and to measure its value because there is some other resistance through the track tracks some other components which are connected because it's a complete circuit so you may get a false reading so best way is to disconnect one of the lead uh, desolder it and then measure using the digital multimeter or simply read the color code on the body of this register for example you see that there are bands yellow violet brown and the gold and then there is this black so obviously we have covered earlier how to read the color code uh, and determine the value of a register now there is this device right here uh, so here is this one and can you see that there is this IC sitting in the middle so there is this integrated IC let me zoom in near 
near to it and then let me for uh, let me fall the light on it so look at this this IC is there there is one IC between the two capacitors inside there is this IC as well so those ICs you need to have a microscope to closely go closely towards them and then you can read the number of it put that number on the Google get access to the data sheet and accordingly you can decide what that IC is finally you see that there is this very special component uh, or a device of course many of you would be knowing what this device is you see that there is a coil wounded on a core and then there is this top cap on it so this is the PCB based transformer okay there are variety of transformers it's, it's the smallest form of a transformer that you can put and solder on the pcb look at the four pins of this transistor one two three and this is the fourth one right this you see the pins of this electrolytic capacitor that has been soldered here so this transformer obviously will have a primary winding and the secondary winding the job of the primary uh, job of the transformer is to um, is is based on the electromagnetic induction principle where you apply an electric field in the primary and be, that current due to applied electric field will flow through the coil that will induce a magnetic flux in the coil and in the secondary of this transformer secondary winding or secondary section of this transformer that magnetic flux which is varying will create an electric field in the secondary side so it's a kind of step up or step down depending on the tra transformer you will have um, uh, the electric voltage at the secondary okay so this is an electromagnetic based principle now what else you see that there are a very small uh, here is this uh, printing and then that is a register r7 r6 r2 r4 you can see clearly those are the surface mount registers smd smd devices so this is this is a small black register that is a surface mount device or register component similarly you see c5 and c6 so obviously one of these capacitor is that c indicates capacitor r indicates registers okay and here also you actually see that there is vr2 so you need to know what that vr2 component is and uh, that's it so i think uh, uh, there is this special device also the black one uh, you can just uh, use the microscope and see what that details about that component fine so uh, with that said you see that uh, most of these components uh, we have uh, got the basic understanding this this module is about basic understanding about how to inspect the PCB obviously you see on the top of the PCB I see the track in the greens so those are the track to carry the current and uh, bottom side of this PCB you also see these greens are the track the greens are the track and the silvers are the soldering points the components on this side have been soldered on the bottom or the other side of this PCB so this is the two sided PCB because the tracks to carry the signal uh, voltage or current is on both sides so here you see the green tracks you see the small width and the little bigger width track and then there are wires soldered one here solder one here the wire is soldered here wire is soldered here right and uh, the silver are the all soldering joints okay soldering joints what if i scratch this uh, green with some teaser or some knife so i will have the copper connection copper track i can see that but this green is the polish that has been um, put up there to protect the inside copper track from the corrosion and the dust 
because if you keep them open then the obviously my hand moisture temperature dust and corrosion everything will affect these copper tracks inside so okay even if i scroll uh, scratch this not with my finger but i need some tweezer or knife or some sharp object to open and cut this track i will see the copper inside and copper beneath so that's it okay so similarly the story goes here you see that there are small little tracks uh, the big weird tracks green one you can see they are available there so it's a two-sided pcb as i said this pcb i got inside the ceiling led bulb the round shape bulb i just uh, it got broken and then i opened that ceiling uh, light uh, disc size uh, ceiling led light and inside it i found this uh, small module so it is um, quite uh, useful uh, module today where we are basically inspecting and uh, trying to apply our understanding to inspect uh, every component understand what the pcb is about obviously you need a schematic to understand the circuit uh, and then the uh, on the PCB you will see how this uh, interconnection of each of these devices and the components has been made okay uh, but for that you need a PCB schematic okay schematic to understand the tracks and the connection of each other uh, of the on the PCB so hope you found this module quite useful if you did so share it with others uh for a wider reach and uh, put your comments in the as an opinion about what you think of this module you have some inputs don't hesitate to add to our modules and we will uh, continue to bring you valuable information and content uh, based on this don't forget to these are tantalum or uh, paracylene capacitor there are modern capacitors and these are non polarized capacitor or possibly there can be a polarized ca capacitor as well but we don't sign see any negative sign unlike uh, uh, unlike what we see on this electrolytic capacitor we clearly see there is this negative sign right here also for these we clearly see these negative signs right here so these we know clearly they are electrolytic but we also know they are polarized capacitor these two are non polarized capacitor it means they don't have any polarity okay so with that uh, stay tuned for more engaging informative content like this and uh, wish you happy electronics happy engineering happy technology happy science stay tuned